Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about business names and more specifically, I'm going to try to answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you think of a business name? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video, but I'll go over a couple of processes that I take when I'm thinking up a new business name, but why would you want to think of a new business name? Well, that's pretty easy. Generally speaking, your business name is going to be the identity of your business that you then build off of. So sometimes you want something really specific and exact, but sometimes you want something that is more Google search friendly. So I'm going to go over a few different processes that I go through personally when I'm trying to think of a business name. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave more information there. But first, what I normally will do is I'll go on Google like I've done here and just Google business name generator. So now with AI tools, there are a lot of free tools where you can generate a business name. Now, to be honest with you, a lot of the times the names aren't going to be exactly what I'm looking for. However, I still use these features to kind of jog specific ideas that would relate to me that I think would be a good business name. So for example, let me click on this one right here. Okay. So depending on which business name generator you're going to start off with, you will need to enter in more information or data that's related to you and your business. So for example, right here, they're asking me to enter in my keywords. So for example, let's use a cupcakes. So cupcakes. And also I do red velvet. So we'll do red velvet. And you can put in your name of your city. The more precise information you enter in, the better the generator is going to be for you. So let's go ahead and just type in a city like Portland. Okay. So we'll click on generate. So again, it's going to give you a lot of different options. So just click on whatever applies to you. I'm going to leave it on auto all styles. So that way I get a wide range of different names that kind of jog a list of names that might relate to me. So I'll click on next. So again, all of these tools are going to be a little bit different, but they operate sort of similar. So your options are going to be different than this one. So this one's asking if I want just a low result. So something very specific to the keywords we put in. I like to do this one right here, random ideas, more varied results. So I'll click on next and you can put in description of your business. If you want, I'm not going to do that. Let me click on generate. Okay. So it gives me a lot of different results here. So what I'll normally do is just kind of go through and see if any of them jump out at me or seem interesting to me. And I'll write them down on the list. This one's kind of cool port lakery. So it's kind of with Portland and bakery together. Some of them are kind of general, like this one, bold cupcake frosty fusion, twisted treats, love and flavor. So it's pretty good coppery. So this gives you a good base to kind of think of different ideas for your specific business. That's usually the first step I use when I'm trying to think of a business name. Now, the second way that I would think of a business name is by the Google map search. So let me jump on over to my Google maps. Okay. So here is my Google maps right here. Let me go ahead and open it up. Okay. So once I'm here in Google maps, let's say that my bakery is going to be in Portland. I'm not usually going to search the other businesses that are related to me in Portland, but I might go to to a very populated area, let's say like New York, and I'll just zoom in to New York because obviously there are a lot of different bakeries there. And then what I'll do is I'll just click here and then just type in whatever my business is. So let's use cupcakes again. Okay. I typed in cupcakes. Let me search. Okay. So these are generally going to be my competitors, but they're on the other side of the country. So it's not really directly competition to me. And usually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll through and look at their business names. Now we're not looking to copy their business names. So for example, this one, dough girl cupcakes, pretty clever, but all I'm doing is just trying to think of ideas that might apply to my particular business. So little cupcake, dulce cupcakes, buttercup. Now, a lot of these really Really aren't going to connect with you because these are completely different families or companies. However, there might be one that jumps out to you that really applies to you. So this one says Jan's cupcakes. So then I might think, oh, well, that's pretty interesting. They just use their name. So I might just use Anthony's cupcakes. So we'll just scroll through them. Usually when I'm thinking up a business name and see if anything kind of jumps out at me. So that's the second way that I usually try to think up a business name. And the third way that I would usually think of a business name is by a thesaurus. So let me jump on over to Google thesaurus. Okay. So here we are on thesaurus.com. So usually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a keyword that's directly related to my business. And we'll just continue on with the cupcake example. So we'll click right here. And all of the, th the thing that the source is going to do is go ahead and give me related keywords. So cupcake, and all you're going to do is click on done. Okay. So this is pulling up references to maybe a woman. So as opposed to the bakery, so this one's probably not going to work too well for me. So what I'll do is I'll change the keyword to let's say bakery. Okay. Change it to bakery. 
Okay, so it's going to bring up other words that are related to the idea of my business. So for example, patisserie is, I guess, maybe a French word. So that seems kind of interesting. So then I might end up listing mine as patisserie instead of bakery, just to be kind of different than my competitors. So again, this is only giving me four results, but you want to kind of switch it around and then look for more options. So maybe we'll type in cake. So it's going to give you different options. Again, we're not going to copy this directly. All we're doing is looking for ideas because when you're thinking of a new business name, immediately when you see it, you're going to know it's for you. It's going to be related to your business. It's going to relate to your ideas of whatever your business is. So that's the third way that I would usually start to think of a business name. And then the fourth way that I would think of a business name is with the Google Translate. Let me jump on over to that. Okay, so here's my Google Translate app right here, this blue and white one right here. Okay, so I usually use this tool also when I'm trying to think of a business name. So for example, if we're using the bakery to continue, what's the first thing that comes in? What's the best country in the world for bakeries or pastries? For you, it might be Italy or it might be France, or it might be Mexico, whatever the case is, then usually what I would do is I'll just type in whatever the word is. So let's say bakery, and then we'll just change this to, let's say Italy or Italian. Okay. So then we know that in Italian, bakery is a forno, or you can use, it looks like penetaria or panificio. So those are kind of interesting ways to kind of think of what your business name would be in another language. However, just keep in mind, you have to think of who your customers are. So if you do something and let's say in Chinese, but everybody in your neighborhood that you're selling pastries to only speaks French, it might not connect with them. However, if you have a large Chinese population in your area that you're going to be selling to, then you might want to use a Chinese name. So again, that's going to be case by case when you're thinking of a business name. And then another way that I would usually consider looking up when you're trying to think of a business name is going to be your Google search. So let me jump on over to my computer and show you what that looks like. Okay. So here I am on what's called the Google ads keyword planner. You can just type that into Google for Google ads, keyword planner. If you have an account with Google ads, then you will have access to this. If you don't have an account, it's free to sign up. You do need to connect a credit card to get access to this, but they don't charge you anything unless you're actually running ads. So this is the Google ads keyword planner here at the top. You're going to want to click on tools and settings. Once you do that, then you're going to want to scroll over here to planning and keyword planner. That's where you want to be. Okay. So here on keyword planner, you want to click on discover new keyword. Words. Okay, so here is where you can go ahead and type in a keyword to get ideas. And then also you can check the search traffic because if you're running a, let's say a bakery and you use something like patisserie, if people are not searching for patisserie in your area, then it would be working against you. It might be better to have that keyword in your business name because you're more likely to show up on Google search and you're more likely to show up on Google maps. So let's type in bakery. And then also you want to click right here, make sure it's in the country or the area or region that you're going to be working in and then you want to click on get results. Okay. So here is the search results. So you can see in the United States, it looks like there's about 6 million searches on mobile for keywords that are related to bakery. So as you can see right here, you can scroll through 1.5 million people looking for bakery each month, 1.2 million people type in bakery near me, cake shop near me, cupcakes near me. So this is not anything that I would use for a business name, but I have seen other people who know that the search is on Google, people type in bakery near me. So they might end up just naming their business bakery near me.com. And that way you're more likely to show up on Google search when people type in bakery near me. Also, another way to use this tool is you can kind of scroll through. And if you're thinking about using the word panaderia as opposed to bakery, you can see that bakery has a lot more searches than panaderia. But again, if you're a really local business, maybe in your area, people use panaderia more than bakery. So that's something that you'll need to figure out. Also, you can see here, gluten-free bakery near me. So before you create your business name, you may decide that you want to have gluten-free in your business name to help show up on search, depending on who you are selling to. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to think of a business name, those are a few ways that I usually come up with my business names. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.